All right, so this is a quick guide on how to use the symmetry tool in Clip Studio Paint. Now, the symmetry tool in Clip Studio Paint can be a little bit confusing at first, but I'll try to show you everything I know about the tool so that if you're making something like a VTuber model, it's a lot simpler. First thing that we're going to do is make sure that we know what our canvas size is. Mine is 4,000 by 6,000. This is what I typically use for VTuber models. And if you don't see the ruler up here, you can just press Control R and that ruler should show up. If it doesn't work with Control R, you might have to check your hotkeys. Now from here, what we're going to do is go over to the symmetry ruler, which is in under the ruler tools. You have a bunch of different rulers here and you're gonna pick this bottom one, the symmetrical ruler. Now with this, if I just click, it will create a symmetrical ruler wherever I click. Uh, usually in a vertical orientation. But uh, if I were to click, shift, and drag, I could make a horizontal one. Click, shift, drag, and then point down. I can make a quarter angle one, and then shift straight down, once again, a vertical one. I could also just click and drag to whatever angle I wanted as well. But oftentimes when we're working with VTuber models, we usually wanna use either the horizontal or the vertical. You'll see that it won't snap to any location. So even if I get right there, it won't go right to the middle of my canvas. My canvas middle would be 2000 and this is like 1900. And instead of just inching it along, like if I were to grab this and just inching it to 2000 and I might be off by a pixel or something, what you can actually do is you can use this operation tool, click on object, make sure the line is selected. You can just kind of move it around to make sure you are selected. You're gonna go into the tool property section down here and then you're just gonna change this to 2000, right? That because 2000 is half of my canvas size, right? So now this thing is perfectly centered. If I zoom all the way in, that line's gonna go all the way to that 2000 marker perfectly. This is really nice if you wanna keep your models completely symmetrical and as perfect as we can in terms of that symmetry. And look at that perfect symmetry. Now. Something to note is that the ruler is only going to be applied on the layer that it is connected to. So if I were to make a new layer on top of that, it is no longer being affected by the symmetry tool. Now, if you want multiple layers affected by the symmetry tool, I would have to group these, right? And then I can actually take this symmetry tool and I could drag it into the folder instead. So now this will be affected, I'm on that bottom layer, symmetry tool, top layer, still symmetry tool, right? Because it is affected by here and I could always press shift, hit the symmetry little symbol right there and the symmetry is now off. So no matter what layer I'm on, the symmetry is turned off. So now you can kind of switch back and forth between when you need the symmetry and when you don't need it. And it will affect all your layers in the group if you so choose to do so. Now, if you are going through your tools and let's say, I'm going using this one right here. And for some reason, it's not doing the symmetry tool. There are some tools by default that are not affected by the symmetry tool. So you will have to go into your tool settings, which I believe is this one, the little wrench icon down here. After hitting the wrench tool, you wanna go in here. You wanna go into the correction section and you wanna enable snapping. This will make it so that it will be affected by any rulers you have in place, such as the symmetry ruler. If this is unchecked, if I were to uncheck it like that, even though it's in the folder and you can see that symmetry line right there, as you can see, it is not affected because it's not being influenced by that ruler. So we're gonna go back in here, correction, enable snapping, and also if you hit this, you will make it so that the enable snapping option is now visible in this uh, little tool section. Okay. It's right there. And now look, the symmetry is back. Okay. So that's pretty much all you need to know for the symmetry tool, how to enable it for certain tools, how to make sure it's on the right, right layer, how to put it in a group, how to disable it, and also how to set it up so that it is perfectly centered. Hope this guide helps. If you have anything else you'd like to see, just let me know and I'd be more than glad to make a video for you.